being on black folks, and you and I together will tell NASA what they screwed up and do not realize what that is that's hitting the ground that's shining. Now, check this out. Now, folks, it's being on black, and what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on this, and basically what, I've, what we have found and what NASA found is stars. There's two stars grouped somewhere in space out very close, and I zoom in as much as I can on this resolution here, and I do agree that I should take it to paint board before I do that. But anyway, you can easily tell that those are two stars that are glowing on the ground. And then I'll be able to show it to you even more perfectly by basically taking and eliminating the picture and going to this. And I've got it zoomed in at a thousand. Okay. And then I can zoom into this and we can bring it down. And actually, I'm at the wrong shot. Hang on. When they're colorizing, they must be using shots of the deal itself because as you can see the pixels you see the lines through the pixels I'll go farther up in the picture and you won't see the pixels you see that now you I'll come down and you'll see these pixel lines check out the pixel lines so you know that basically when they're colorizing they're taking pictures of that they had of or what they have of the other one if they because they're probably making another rover so anyway as you see the lines in the pictures here and I move up the shot and then I'll basically pop out you know, and then I'll go back to showing you the stars because basically the actual factual is that I, and as you see, what I was what I was zoomed in on was this down here. And if you zoom, zoom in on a picture like this, you can get the pixelization, okay? They needed to show us the black and white shots because the black and white shots are better for finding stuff. Actual factual. First off, I was thinking it was going to be a flake, but it's actually two stars grouped tight together out and you can see it. Now check this out. And Comet Ison is closer than what NASA says on their projector on their Java. So basically, it's closer. As you see, here's what NASA says right now, that it's at 5.622. They need to update their Java. It's off. A couple pictures here, and I'm going to basically be able to show you that this has basically either never been here, this here was implanted, or NASA picked it up, picked the satellite up, or it fell into a deep cliff. And that's just a shadow there because you can you'll be able to see when I show you the blow up shot. And here's where you end up you'll get that image because they were wondering about it and they even talk about it here. And I can blow this up. You got the web link and everything like that. I think I can go up to 200 or whatever and you can go over here and read this. And I've been seeing it where they were wondering about plastic or something that had fallen off the rover. So anyhow, there was a Someone had noticed and had zoomed in on the pictures and seen it. Well, I know what it is now by seeing it because basically I went to another shot of, and basically I should be able, I'm not even sure if the description is here about, but they thought there was plastic on the ground or something shiny. Now in a second, what I'll do is I'll zoom out from this, but basically there's a star there that's basically, I'm interested in the material. But what I did is I'll go on and go all the way to the ground. And there's another star over here that I took a picture of right there and it's got some planets around it. And I'll show you the picture I got it from. And I'm going to go directly to the ground and I'm going to go directly up and you'll see what I'm talking about. I found starlight, okay? And I found the stars in the, because I was looking at the horizon. The pictures from Mars are real, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But they need to quit colorizing. We like these black and white shots better. You can see stuff. Then they can give us the colorization shots. Give us both shots. We've got the starlight down here of the star that I see up there in the sky, right? Okay, now i got to fix my pointer. And as I come up, NASA needs to hire me, I guess, because the idea that they can't even sit there and figure out. And there you got somebody running a joystick on a how many million or billion dollar robot up there. Now there's a star to the left. You can't miss it there to the left. Okay, I'm pretty much all the way to the left anyway. You can see that there. And you can see this star here. Okay. And the one thing that got me going was I went looking across the sky and there's a big dark object on the horizon. And there's some other stars out here. And you can see as I scoot across, this is an actual photo image. Now, they paste these shots together, okay? And there's another star there that's dangling in the sky. And I'll move over here, and we're going to have sunlight, okay? I want to show you, too, is that when we go in over here to the right, you're going to end up seeing a very interesting conglomeration of stars. And I kind of got to see, since I'm sitting here working on my laptop, I'm going to end up having to because it gets bright with the sunlight over here to the right. Now here's down on the ground, okay? And then I was zooming in on the horizon. You see this horizon over there and you see that? You see how we keep on getting these fake shots from them because they're colorized? Well, there's the horizon and that's what I was looking at, okay? There's the horizon. There is some mountainous area or hilly area out in, but they colorize it and it makes it, gives it a really fakeish look. If they would basically let us see what you can see, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and see if I can find another star because basically you can see some starlight. You see these stars showing up bright on Mars surface? You can see it in the black and white shots. Well, that's what they had on the ground. It's actually starlight that's hitting the ground from the stars. They're much brighter on Mars when they're hitting the ground than what they are here on Earth. And I got a really good example because basically I ended up finding a spot on the ground and I went up and went zooming up and I found a spot and let me go let me go ahead and I'll zoom out to like uh, here so you know that the shot I'm at and this is the shot from NASA and there is the image that I got it from okay now basically I will pan down and what I ended up doing was I zoomed in like 400 or something right here and I ended up seeing a bright spot or something I'm not even gonna probably end up seeing it right now or whatever but I was down here, and I think that's one of them, or it was one of them. And I'm like, well, it's a black and white shot. And then what is that shiny spot? So then I go up, and yes, NASA, I figured it out. It is stars. And you're going to say, oh, we already did figure that out. Well, you didn't tell the public about it yet. So I went up to the horizon and start looking across. I go left and look at the spots that I see. And I'm like, wow, in space, up at Mars, you can see through, because they really don't have much of an atmosphere, okay? So you can see stuff way brighter and everything like that. So look at all these dark mass objects that are out in the horizon. All those spots, those are real. They're out there in space. It's what we're seeing on Soho, all those dark spots. There's stuff that's out there. And then we got some stars, twinkle, twinkle. And here I'll pop it up to 1,000 real fast, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Or even, yeah, I'm going to go to, I'll just go to like 600, okay? I'm going to 600. And this is an astounding find, pretty much. And we've got stars that you can see in the horizon when you can see. Now, this is one of the ones over here that I zoomed in on, a, a star cluster over here. So basically, there's a whole bunch of stars around, and basically that might be Pleiades. It's a wild guess, but it really possibly could be Pleiades there. Either that or there's something else they have to explain to us. But as I go back over here, you get these dark objects that are out there. And I was able to blow in on our star over here on the left-hand side. The one, this one here, I blew on a nap. But the first one I blew in on was I could see that it was a star, no problem, by looking over here to the left. And now I'm down. I'm going to save some tape time. Hang on. And even at, I'm at 600 right now, and I saw this star here. And then I blew in and took some pictures. And I'll, I'll show you those pictures in a second. Let's go ahead and zoom up here right on when I got the camera on at 1,000. And you basically, I put the custom on, and I put 1,000 in. And you'll be able to see that that's a star, no problem. And it is the horizon. That is the horizon there on Mars. And I kept on thinking, man, when they colorize it, it looks fake. And I knew that they were colorizing it because basically they're getting these pictures back black and white. Okay? They're getting these back just like scanning machine. And check that star out. And then I blew it up even higher. higher. This, and actually I can because I can tap on that. I can tap on that and it'll blow it up on my screen when I'm looking at the picture. And I come back down and it's even bigger. And there you go, folks. There's a star. And there's the horizon on Mars. And these pictures are all great that they're giving us. And even the color ones are great, NASA. But give us these black and whites so we can look at the colorization and look at the black and white together. Because I figured out that you've got starlight on the ground and that's your plastic that you think it is. It's not plastic. It's not minerals. You have starlight that is, hits Mars and you can see it. Very good because of the atmosphere of Mars. And I'm over here to 1,000 again over and then I'll pop down. And we'll go to like 200 and we'll look around here and you can get a little bit better idea. We're looking at the horizon, we're at the ground and on the ground here somewhere I ended up, it doesn't really even matter at this point in time, but I got pictures and I saw starlight on the ground. I'm like, that's starlight and you can see it in the, in the colorization shot if you go back, back the video up and you can also go to the NASA stuff and I'll have a link and there's that star I seen right there. I saw that star and I'm like, wow, and then I was able to see the horizon and they need to start showing us these black and whites because basically the sun or whatever star that's close to Mars right here is what let us see all this stuff and all these other stars when you blow up this background. And let me go ahead and go through these shots. So no matter what, those are two stars. And they got the black and white. What they did is the black and white. This is a, from the black and white shot. And then this is the colorization that they do. But those are two stars that are basically illuminated up. And it is pitiful that the idea that they, but basically that's two stars right there, folks. And I can zoom in real big, but those are two stars glimmering from space down onto Mars. And that's black and white because they colorize these shots. 
And basically, I'll go to full screen on the shot. And they have the description telling you that it's down in the middle. And I was like, I didn't really, honestly, I didn't see it right off the bat. And then it's right here. So then you zoom in on that. And I'll just go to like 400 right off the bat. And we'll scoot down. And right off here is when I get to 1,000, I notice that it's stars. Check it out. And look at all the dark planetoid objects that are roundish sphered that are out in the horizon of Mars. You can see them. And there's our star down here that I found in the horizon. And there's the horizon of Mars. And that's a star that's on the ground. So when I knew that they were pixelizing the shots, basically uh, is when, and this is when I figured it out, at 400% looking at the rock, and I was like, well, they're pixelizing their coloring. So the idea that that's black and gray, the part of the rock that normally all this stuff is, and then what they did right there is they got the stars glimmering on that rock. Because then I went in at a, at a thousand, and you can see the stars. You can't miss them. And there they are. A couple of stars glimmering down on a rock that they made sure that they didn't colorize this, but they were trying to figure out what is it. And that's what it is. It's two stars glimmering through space because Mars has hardly no atmosphere. And then I take a shot of it and we zoom in on it some more because I'm not sure if I had it that much before, but you zoom in on it there and you can see the stars. So it's two stars on a rock and they colorize these pictures and that's what makes them look kind of fakish. Here, I'll pop in on this star and then watch my next video because it's gonna be on the moon. I'm not going to let out some of the secrets that I've been wanting to give out, but what I've done is figured out a bunch of uh, stuff on the moon. And there's your star there. You can't miss that. And I'll go up to a thousand real fast. And that's what I found in the horizon. And I'm not, I never been to anybody. I'm not trying to help NASA out on anything. It just, they're actually giving us, but the idea that we need to see the black and white shots, we don't need the cut. We need the colorization. The colorization is cool, but to look back and forth. And as you see, there's a bunch of planets around this star, okay? And then I'll pop down real fast again, and you will see that we are basically at this shot, and I zoomed in on this because it's really bright over there. And what I ended up doing is, you, if you take and look at these, you'll end up seeing the bright star somewhere down in, right between here, in this whole area down here, I seen a bright little light in a black and white shot, and I'm like, what the heck is that? So then I, and, but I wasn't, I was gonna look at this anyway. See, I wanted to look at all this horizon, which basically we'll do again real quick. And see, I was looking at the horizon, and then I, what I can do is I can pan across here at like 400, and then what I could do is I could hit my uh, my little dealy bobber, and I could zoom in real fast. And then that's how I ended up finding that star over here. That one there, just I mean, it, you just can't miss it. It's a star. So, and there's the horizon of Mars. So, they're on a hill with the curiosity or some kind of a high rise and then basically you can see the sloping and you can see all that there and I can even zoom in on this real fast pop it up to a thousand and there you go and then I go up boom and there's the horizon and then I can zoom in even more and pop down and there's our star, you can't miss it. And then I go across the horizon, and there's our mohill that it's pretty much sitting on, or whatever, or bluff, or whatever they're sitting on right now. And then we'll pop down real fast so you know that we're at the screen, and that's the shot. I got all this stuff from looking at that little star over there, and all this stuff, and basically that's what's on the ground at that shot, which is basically this shot here, and it ends up being the starlight that's sitting right on that little rock there. And then I'll go back, and that's where I got it from image galleries at NASA. Okay? Don't even care about it loading. I let it load, and that's what it is. It's a 19 shot right there when you go to the library. And they've been wondering what it was, and it's not plastic, it's starlight that's hitting the ground, as you can see in the explanation there. They thought it was plastic, they thought it was a piece of metal off the deal, but it's not. It's two stars that are shining on a rock. And all that you can also see the link right there. And I'll put it in blue and then pop it back out and see if you can see it. Zoom in on it. So no matter what, this is an awesome picture, okay? And they need to quit colorizing because basically we're better off just seeing what they get. Prove that this ain't there on Phoenix. Check this out. And you zoom in on that shot and it's not there. Did it ever, what is it ever there? Or did it fall in a hole or a cliff? Because it's not there. 
the Phoenix is not.